hear the voices inside my head, the voices behind the wall, uplifting the underdog, we fighting above the law. Can you hear me now? Zena, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the crazy train. I think, uh, welcome back, if I'm not mistaken. Choo choo! Hi, Angie's Life, Trey, Anissa, Jojo, Sharon, Miss Chewy, Wisconsin Mama, Innocent, Nunya Beeswax, Little Dev. Oh my goodness, way back up here. Crimes have consequences. Remain calm. Welcome. Make sure you all sub up uh, Remain Calm's channel. Hammer time. Love wins. Okay, let me go back down. I you know, you guys, I hate putting slow mode on because I, I hate that as well, but it's already going fast. But we're just going to deal with it. I'm not going to put it on longer than that. Hi, Patty Ponytail, Mick Bro, Grammy. Jessica, Brenda, hi yo, cat's eye, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm turn the camera off for a minute because you guys know. Um, <gasps> Sunshine, dragonfly, hey sis, hey Amy, hey y'all. So I've got some notes and some time stamps. We kind of got a lot to go through tonight. I'm addicted to these dry freeze candies, by the way. So sorry if you hear me munching. We got the necessities. We got my Pepsi. You guys all got a snack? You got something to drink? You can take a minute and grab you something right now. Um, I'm going to have a guest or two join me. Uh, Don will join me here shortly. He's just getting a uh, you know, decent shirt on and stuff. He's been working all day, so... Um, we've got some stuff we're going to chat about and I've got some stuff I want to go through and chat about and that I'm also curious, uh, what Don thinks. Oh, by the way, hey dad, I think you're watching or you'll, you're about to be watching. Um, and Mia, my fur baby sister, popcorn and cake. Oh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Are you laughing at that? Oh, <laughs> I thought the girls were laughing at y'all. Don, who's kidding? All right, so also, hey, Charm Charm. You guys, there's something. It's bothered me for a long time, but recently it has started bothering me even more because it's just, it's like, I'm not sure what the proper word would be to use, if it's condescending, if it's passive aggressive, if it's both of those and more. Um, hi, Casey. Sandra, but you know when people come in here, wherever Don and Candace may be on the YouTube streets or the Facebook streets, wherever, and they just, the only thing they drop is, where is summer? Where is summer? Where is summer? And that has just annoyed me so much this week because I don't know what they think that's going to do. That is not helpful. That's not going to help bring summer home it, it's like you expect okay don and candace are gonna see that and all of a sudden case closed justice for summer is served and we and we just find out everything like get a life grow up so because i'm personally tired of it i'm going to time you out if you do that and then I'm going to block you if I see the same person do it again. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of your typing. It's just a waste. And it's ridiculous. And it is rude. All of the above. So none of that, please. Mods, if you would. Uh, I think we've all about had it. You know, we're done. <laughs> um and it's, it's it's not useful it's not helpful um hey gavel and if you want justice for summer and you want to help find summer listen just let people talk especially her parents who by the way are not named suspects no one is a named suspect but they are not named suspect they haven't even been named as a prime suspect or nothing like that and we 
are saying they're guilty. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Well, guilty of what, though? Because we don't know anything. So what are they guilty of? You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't even know what crime we're trying to give them the time for. It's ridiculous. So, with that being said, mods, if you would, uh, try and just watch for that. Let me grab my earbuds. Okay. There we go. Hey, Don, can you hear me? Yeah. How y'all doing? Awesome. We're doing good. Thanks for joining. Yeah. So we kind of got a lot to talk about. I'm not sure. Well, actually, I might be a little sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're working too much to sit around for eight hours a day and listen to Jody Sue. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness. So, um... I'm going to pull some stuff up in a little bit so you can hear it. But some of the stuff she said was, well, a lot of stuff she says is alarming and weird. But from her own mouth, it sounds like she's been involved in numerous missing children cases. <coughs> do do yeah, you know anything know. about that? No. Okay. I, well, I don't really pay attention the only thing i pay attention to really honestly is the facts one of the facts is that she was down the hill when summer was gone or somewhere near that she mm -hmm. was down there she was down there and fred hill was leaving out around that time so i don't know i mean that's the facts that we have right. whatever whatever she says is that, unfounded <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knows so, what, where she's what she's trying to really say, or what, she, what she's really, you know, like people say, there's truth and and a little little bit of truth and everything, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So Fred and Jody Sue were both outside at the time of Summer's disappearance. Uh, as far as I, I mean, as far as you know, we don't we don't know for sure. Right. When Candace couldn't find summer up here and she got in the truck and went to look for summer she was i guess down there what she right. said. yeah now i remember you said way back in the beginning that when you arrived home you saw your neighbor outside and you just knew uh i can't remember your exact words but something bad had happened um yeah i mean I drove can i ask what the... neighbor that was that made you feel that way that's my my good neighbor over here, Don. He's a okay. He's a, he's a good guy. Um, and that whole family's been really supportive and good to us all the time, ever since we've known him. And we don't really know him or hang out with him, but he's just always been good neighbors. You know? Right. Oh, is that <clears throat> is that happened to be the gentleman that rode up on the hogs on the ground and told him to leave? I don't know. I, I oh. have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Heidi. Hi, uh, Chasing. Hi, everyone coming in. Um, I'm going to try and find that. Give me one second. I'm going to try and find that because I did uh, do both of us a favor, Don, and I took time stamps so that we don't have to listen to Jody Sue for eight hours. Not that you have eight hours to do that. Yeah. But I'm, I was interested in... Actually, I think I can... I don't think she deleted it. So let me try it the other way first, sorry. Um, we went ahead and downloaded it in case she tried to dirty delete, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, anything, you know, gosh. Yeah. I feel, I feel sorry, you know, when the police come to you and says, man, I just got through this in two days of YouTube's crap. This is like... And they're all, you know, eyes are bloodshot and they're pissed. And they're <laughs> I've seen them do that. Hmm. Yeah, they have to kind of force to have to watch all this stuff, you know, the crazy things people say and all that. Yeah. Know? Yep. Uh, I know back in the day, as you know, I talked to them a couple times um and like you always told me if i heard anything even from you or candace that sounded weird that i should report it right well 
Um, and I did that, and they they told me that they're watching everything, like, yeah. Yeah. you know, so they, I, uh, and yeah, I think it, a lot of the stuff they're putting out and that's being tagged to them. Um, oh, am I echoing? Do you happen to have the YouTube turned up on your end by chance, Don? It's probably my cheap Sony headset. Okay. If it's echoing. Well, we'll deal because I know it, it's hard. So I'm sorry if it's echoing for people, but we're going to deal because you guys know how hard that is, to, especially trying to help fix it, you know. I can turn we're... my headphones off. Would that work could, and you can still yeah, hear us? I could do that. Let me see if I can. Let's try that. You have to give me a minute to figure no it out. No problem. No problem. I'm going to find a time stamp here. I got you. Is that better? Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay. Yep. How's that sound, guys? Good? No, it wasn't me because I don't, it, but yeah. Hey, Benny. Just died. Okay, so I'm going to pull up uh, Jody Sue. Forgive me. I know you've been working all day and you're already tired. <laughs> no, no, I'm just trying to stay busy, you know? Yeah. And I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. I'm glad that you found some work. Now, you texted me earlier. Did you say you were on fire earlier? Well, what I meant was I was upset earlier. I had a lot of oh, things to say. Oh, that's, that's what I thought you meant. Okay. I, I, but yeah. then you were talking about working. I'm like, you didn't, like, weren't working on your truck or something. That I was like, what the heck? No. I was just fired up over some of the stuff on YouTube kind of thing. And I, I bet you are. But I'm okay now. Good. That's good. Because you know a lot of it they say to get a reaction from you. Absolutely. They, they, they want you fired up like that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to pull it to her. This is almost a six-hour live stream. So we're going to go two hours and 53 minutes in. And she's going to say something about all of a sudden now she has new memories of what happened on June 15th. And so if you hear anything that you think is wild um, or that you're, you know, strikes you wrong, I absolutely think you should report it to the authorities. Um, well... So let me pull this up here. So I'm going to share my screen. They probably already heard it. I bet know, they have. They, yeah. Yeah. They, they, yeah. Guarantee. You. If, it's, if it has any weight at all, the, the right people will will know about it. If it. And it probably holds no weight at all. Mm -hmm. Whatever she says. I mean. <laughs> right. Uh, she... She's proven that to everybody by lying. She pulled that whole stunt with writing a harassment letter to herself and thinking putting dishwashing gloves on and <laughs> we weren't going to figure it out. You know what I mean? Like she's, yeah. she's definitely not all there, but let's, let me play this. Let's see. TMBK from get. You see when I send shit, when I'm, when I call and then I'm told to send shit to certain places. Oh, I fucking send it. And I send it with the appropriate. So what she's saying is she thinks that she is more special and that her information that she's reporting on Don and Candace, mind you, she was defending Don and Candace at the beginning. And that went from uh, throwing Don under the bus to just protecting Candace to then throwing both of them under the bus. So um, she's already not a credible person. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but she's saying that, you know, her tips are so much more credible because she calls and reports them and then she's told to go ahead and send them in. And oh, man, does she? Well, guess what? That's that's how it goes. That is the protocol. Wouldn't you say, Don, I'm pretty sure you've reported stuff. And if we have links or anything, aren't we then told after we hang up to go ahead and send them to the email? Well, yeah, of course. You know, if you sus suspect something, you know, I mean, anybody's going to, including us, is going to, you know, we're going to do everything we can to find Summer. And we, we appreciate that. 
you know, mm-hmm. it's, I'm, you know, it's, it's been, a, people have turned this whole thing upside down and, uh, our lives upside down, but, um, yeah. but we're learning to cope and understand things, I hope, better. And, mm-hmm. uh, all it's you hard, can do is keep hard. taking it one day at a time. Sorry. Yeah, I just have to. I just have to. We just have to appreciate the fact that people do care, and you know, and just go with that. That's 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 what's important. And uh, there are people that you know they want to find find summer, and so that's that's what's that's what it, you know. That's something else. If you don't mind, sure. You know, we put a lot of pictures out there that normally you people probably. You know, and you wouldn't want to put out there because they're kind of embarrassing or whatever. You know, a little mm-hmm. bit dirty or whatever. You wouldn't share them in public, but we did that knowingly. We we ha- I had to, we had to because we want people to see everything that we have pretty much because we want them to know her as much as possible, just because that better's her chances of being seen. You know. Right. That's the reason we didn't hesitate to share everything that we have. And I'm pretty sure if we were all under the scope like you guys, we would not all look or smell like roses too. Well, there would be something on, on any one of us that could be twisted and look bad. I mean, shit, they already do it. But yeah, I, I, yeah, you were trying to do what's right and not hide anything and you're just being right. beat further right. for that yeah I mean, it, I mean the circumstances it's it's crazy you know i don't have no excuse for my house it's you know something that was given me and uh we've been working on it tore a trailer house out of here you know i've tried to help you know yeah we had four kids living here young kids that were like you know like monkeys basically i mean hard to you know four kids is like a torn living with a yeah. tornado i have four kids yes it is it's, <laughs> yeah. it's chaotic yeah i mean i'm not trying to make excuses i got my problems too i'm i'm, yeah, I'm trying to correct with everything i have you know i mean i don't know anyways but but we've made a lot of improvements on the house. We've gotten pretty far on the house. And Have so, you? Yeah. You know, and I guess we'll probably end up taking pictures and sharing them with people at some point. I'd you say. don't owe anybody that. Well, no, but. Right? Well, except for. Well, I know. Child we're, Protective we're, we're Services the and the law. That's the only people you owe that to. Well, right. I know. Right. Well, yeah. Because well, no matter what you do or how good you think it is, there's going to be someone up there. Well, what about this, Don? You could have done this better, or you could have done well, that, well, right? Well, I'll, they'll always be there, right? Yeah. Right. Everybody gets it ridiculed. That's for sure. Yeah. So just just remember that we can't please everyone. I, for one, have learned that throughout my, yeah. my life. But just don't feel like you owe YouTube to show us or tell us anything you only owe the law that and your children that right that's it yeah well we'll share some good pictures and try to keep the drama out of the pictures how about that that sounds good yep that sounds good but definitely think about it first so i'm gonna keep playing this here okay um and yeah so right about here she's gonna say about having new memories all of a sudden She's showing us what she sent. <clears throat> I sent it months ago when I found it. Wasn't out of my head. Wasn't in some whatever memory, because I still can't even remember that. I did not come up on the piece is because there's a bunch. I would have never remembered, maybe. And I still don't remember. 
So she has new memories right. now, but she would never right. remember, maybe she wouldn't remember, and she still doesn't remember what she remembers, okay. but... Doesn't, isn't, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't, doesn't she, isn't she prescribed a bunch of Xanax and other stuff? I don't, that's what was, I don't remember. I've heard, yeah, so, yeah, and I, she's spoken about that, yeah. She well, sounds it, like it, but... It sounds like it. <laughs> I don't have proof of that, do you know? Yeah, Oh. I mean, it, it, I don't know what she's doing. My goodness, I'm just yeah. Um, Andy seems to be doing really good uh, with his new life going. Mm. He's, he seems to be doing really good. Uh, That's good. Hi, everyone. But he's, in. he's he's went through all this too. He's got fired from his jobs too, from all this oh stuff, really all this drama. Yes, well, he's had a hard time getting a job, and it's caused him problems. So yes. And from your knowledge, does the law think the law, he's suspect no, at all? The law, they know exactly where he was at the okay. time. Yeah, I think you were telling me that he's got like yeah. a, a airtight alibi. Yep. And Chasing says she's tried to show the home was turned upside down when the police were there and people turned those into a show. And... I believe that chasing, as Don said, they were there numerous times, and they do that. Especially, we can see how some, not all, some of the officers, not just in Tennessee, but how some officers are, in general, and they go on a power trip. And I've unfortunately witnessed it in other cases of people I've gotten close to. Thinking about what they did to a house to Miss Angela, whose daughter and two-year-old grandson was murdered. And they left her with, they threw everything, you know, looking for evidence. That, so already the hell that went on in those walls of that house added with the police throwing everything about. That's when I actually learned, like, if you have a loved one pass away in your home, like, 99% of the time, it's up to you to clean that shit up. That is crazy. Like, you can pay cleaners, but a lot of times the county or the government is not paying for that for you. So on top of that to Angela, she had to clean up her dead daughter's and grandson's remains, as well as everything the, the police did in that house looking for evidence. So it's terrible. Yeah. it's just it's just another like okay i can understand they have to look for evidence but at a certain point you can tell that a lot of it is do they really have to be throwing stuff upside down like that you know I well know. i think i think they look at it like maybe the youtube is it i mean we answered a lot of hard questions we they put us through the ringer just like you know every at all the whole our whole everybody come down on us um but i think they had a certain degree of thinking that maybe we were guilty certain cops the different cop groups that come in here different counties everything else we had all you know all different kind of police right. up in here and some of them probably assumed we were guilty of something i mean this is happened right after that other case where they mom done something killed her little girl or something around here this area right yeah so they was probably really suspected us of foul play i would say in the beginning mm -hmm. but probably that's i'd say changing even though we they found no evidence at all but they have searched this place thoroughly many many times and then on her first year anniversary they come in with a search well i probably shouldn't say all that but they searched this place thoroughly mm. many times do you know exactly or do you know what were, were they looking for fingerprints or did they think she was hiding somewhere in there well they probably got a lot of tips from people they conjured up stuff in their of heads course. and just knew it was the real deal or this or that and people just it's crazy how all that works like that. Hmm. I don't know if YouTube's helped any or hurt or, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's obviously hurt us as a family 
and made it dangerous up here at first for a while. But it's yeah. like that petition. But someone put that petition out to right. come after us. In my YouTube name. As if right. a petition can get somebody arrested. Which, by the way, Don has seen my actual account. He knows that's not me. So not right. only that, you can if you look at the writing, it's weird. Because I've never hyphenated your name. Like, it's different writing. But anyways, I'll go ahead and show it on my channel. But the main thing is, is Don and Candace were sent my actual. Because I've signed petitions. But I've never started a petition. But I've signed many petitions. Crude. Six petitions. It was definitely... Yeah. I know how you... I think I pretty much know how you feel. But this petition was written in right. major amounts of hate and ready to just come out here and, you know, create a mob and come out here and beat the hell out of us and whatever else. Kind of thing. Yeah. Against right. Against Candace mainly. Yes. They stated all these untrue facts in there. And that's dangerous stuff. There should be a law against that right there. That's very dangerous. Yeah. You're uh, chasing. There's a petition that says it's my YouTube uh, profile picture. And then it's my, they put uh, my YouTube name. Well, they put my dad's name, right? So they put the name I use on my YouTube, but not my legal uh, name, right? But anyway, and then they started a petition to have Candace arrested in like 2022. And they're doing it saying under my name. I'm not that dumb. I know a petition cannot have somebody arrested. But uh, I told Don, you know, Don sent it to me. So I sent Don my account and he can see where it says I have signed six petitions, but I have created zero petitions. And also my, uh, it's not even, it's in my legal name. So I'll see if I can pull that up. But yeah, they were pretty... Yeah, it was pretty bad against uh, Candace. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm going to play more Jody Sue. You're not driving, are you? Oh, man. <laughs> She's just a... Uh, <laughs> we'll just get through. I got the timestamp, so it's not much, but we'll get through. So so there she's saying she's got these new memories. If she can't remember, she doesn't know. She, but she doesn't know if she remembers that bullshit. So then we'll go to... Okay, 258. This is the main thing I want you to hear, where she brings up, do y'all think that Summer is the first child that I've, whatever she says, we're going to play it. Okay, so I'm going to start it right here. Neuroses as well as I do. Okay, we're just... Okay, we're I can't hardly right understand anything. I don't know what the fuck I am or think. I know, I know. Um, I think I can turn closed caption on, maybe not. Uh, it don't matter what she's saying. She's she's in <laughs> She reminds me, remember back in the day they used to do uh like rewards and giveaways on the radio if you could guess what Ozzy Osbourne said? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she reminds me of. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, well let's try let's try and listen just for like uh maybe two minutes. Uh, okay. So you must have summer vanished. <laughs> it was over. It didn't matter about public perception or what pieces of shit look like or, you know, whatever. It didn't matter any of that. There was no point in anything that was done, manufactured chaos, false people put into, false targeting, set up bullshit. None of that that was going on that road inside the community otherwise. And within hours, by Candace and Don this place meeting up. It was over from day one. YouTube and the cast and never, it'll never stop whatever's coming. What? You should have just sat down and took it. Me? I ain't give a fuck. Still don't. What? So other things come before self. 
And if you know me, and I guarantee you the real FBI profilers and cartoons, things like that, and stacks of shit in the background for eons, but I guarantee you they okay. do. Know. It's coming up here Doing in a what minute. I am, and my neuroses as well as I do. One of mine, and one of my character flaws, and I will say it's a flaw because it leads me into the murkiest waters and the biggest troubles of my life is that I have a white knight um, thing sometimes, especially for those who damn sure would not do the same thing for me and these things. I help those who wouldn't help others, even if. <laughs> what a saint. Jody Sue the saint. What? So helpful. She only auctioned off the dusty, crusty t-shirt that she wore while searching for your daughter. But what a saint. She's just an angel right there. What? Did you know she did that? No. I don't. I really Sick. don't pay any attention to her at all. <laughs> there, but I really don't. Well, that's, I, that's I, a good just, thing. I apologize just, for... No, you're good. Tonight, but I want you to hear that. I want you to hear some of this because I know you aren't listening to it at home. No, it ain't worth. It ain't worth it. Yeah. There's better <laughs> things. True. Yeah, there is better things to put your time on, and you got tons of other people that got their eyes and ears on this. So if there's anything Absolutely. crazy, you know. Yeah, there is some really good people out there, and I I thank them all. I appreciate it. My pap taught me how I could use my one. I've been left with because monster Cotton number one. Candy boobs, hey, sis. For good or bad. I chose good. And I always in order to keep myself I always go to an extreme right position. Sure. I know who I am and how I operate and what I operate on. I know my own thoughts. Right? One of those is that I. Do y'all think Summer's the first child that I've. Oh. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Put before so. There are literally newspaper articles out here showing the world. Neuroses as well as I do. One of mine and one of my character flaws, and I will say it's a flaw because it leads me into the murkiest waters and the biggest troubles of my life is that I have a white knight um, thing sometimes, especially for those who damn sure would not do the same thing for me and these I things. I help it. those who wouldn't help others, even if. All right. My pap taught me I could use my life. I've been left with because monster number one, for good or bad, I chose good. And I always, in order to keep myself, uh -oh. I always <laughs> go to an extreme right position. I know who I am and how. Okay, listen up I now, Don. I know my own thoughts. Right? One of those is that I. Do y'all think Summer's the first child that I've. Put before so? There are literally newspaper articles out here showing the world that I have literally been. Like damn near murdered to save another child and a woman I didn't know. Even though I knew I'd leave mine behind it. It's not the first time in my life I've done so. I was taught to run towards fires, danger, and to help. And to be more than self and that self didn't matter over something. I will always veer on the side of right before I'll ever try to do wrong. So what do you, so far, what do you, what do you think about that? 
Because she's going to go on to say that we can't find the newspaper articles because she's been wiped off of it. And I'll play that part in a minute because oh, she's no. been a whistleblower for corrupt cops. I don't know what. To, I think <laughs> she's just, uh, I just try to stay completely away from her, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So is any of that alarming to you at all? No, because um, everybody knows that that anything she says is just nonsense. Yeah. So she's not even worth, you know, her her word it means is not worth anything. Right. Yes, I will, sis. I'll rewind it again so that uh, some people would like to hear that again, and then I'm going to let it play for another minute because absolutely chasing. She says we will not find the articles because they've been, uh, John, Don knows she's batshit. Yeah. Uh, she says it's been scrubbed because, scrubbed clean to help keep her safe. Something about she's a whistleblower. So she just self snitched on that. If she is a whistleblower, like what the fuck? Okay, here we go. I'll rewind it just a minute. You guys know I'm terrible with rewinding. Let me try my best to not. Okay. I know who I am and how I operate and what I operate on. I know my own thoughts. I don't think she does. Right? One of those is that I. Do y'all think Summer's the first child that I've. Put before so. There are literally newspaper articles I hear showing the world that I have literally been like ten near murdered to save another child and a woman I didn't know, even though I knew I'd leave mine behind. It. It's not the first time in my life I've done so. I was taught to run towards fires. The answer to that is in your question. <laughs> and to help. Yeah. I, I personally, more than self and I personally self think she's matter taken, over. Hold on, let me pause it so some, I can hear you. Uh, there we go. What were you saying? I, I personally believe she's just taken one hell of a lot of Xanax and probably a little bit of <laughs> That's my personal opinion, truthfully. <laughs> I think we all uh, agree with that opinion. I sure do. <laughs> right. It's looking like a whole lot of freaking crush orange soda and some downers to me. Okay, here we go. You still with us, Don? You're not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's she's like NyQuil. If you ever can't sleep, just throw her on the TV. I will always veer on the side of right before I'll ever try to do wrong. I'm a mixed bag of things. But I didn't go hopping about the internet with the rest of the things I've done in my life. <laughs> what? People I've saved. Shit, I've People she saved. Other Guess what? She saved other people, Don, but she didn't go right. hop on the internet or nothing. Right. She, she yeah. saved so many other people and helped other kids and put hers in danger. And she's not one to go and brag or hop on the internet. But, you know, she didn't make a whole ass YouTube channel and auction off the shirt she wore searching for Summer Wells. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How can you, I mean, you see, I think you're right. I think she's just putting on this show because there's no way in hell she'll ever be a credible witness or anything like no. she can't be used in in no. sh nothing her testimony is garbage and not only that she's a suspect she's a suspect oh so she hasn't been cleared because she's been running around saying she's been cleared oh no she's never not been cleared they don't they don't just like you when know, we talked about the other night, they don't clear anybody until they find the perpetrator. And they're not going to clear anybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a suspect. Right. Everybody. 
nobody gets off that list until she's found. Right. You know. And that includes you and Candace. That includes everybody. Fred. The, everybody. everybody. The whole darn hill. Yeah, and, and then, then some. some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I say about one of the only ones that's really been cleared is like, we know where Andy was. That's just one example. You know, yeah. we know where they know where Andy was. He's he's probably and just as an example, I'm the closest to getting cleared that there is. Hmm. You know, but that's just one example. And that's interesting because she goes so hard at him. Right. So. right. That, okay, that's that's I, interesting. I too. probably shouldn't have said that, but. Okay. But. I, we can delete later, but we're live right now, so. Well, it's probably okay. I mean, just, mm -hmm. we just don't want to jeopardize Summer's case. Right. You know? and I everybody out there trying to help and everything like that, but putting stuff straight on, on YouTube could jeopardize Summer's life, really. Absolutely. So we yeah. really need to be careful and... uh I can tell you guys have been a lot more. It the you guys it's not the same behavior as a year ago. So I, well, I we have learned some things anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and we appreciate to, you to. talking cuz I know no matter when you do you it gets twisted um you know. Yeah. And I've been guilty of that. Um, we all have been. Oh, me too. It's so easy to get caught up in all this stuff and just Overwhelmed and overwhelmed, yes. Her and Andy are rubber and glue. I don't know. She goes a little too hard on Andy for me. That Andy was already on the lower part of my suspect list because wow. it just felt like Jody Sue right away wanted to railroad him and Don, like right away. And then yeah. it was. Don and Candace and Andy and then and then it was everybody but herself, you know, so it, it's kind of like she says that Don's look over here, look over here. Well, that's what Jody Sue is. It's look at here, look at here, look at here, but don't look at me. Don't smell me, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah. Do you know, did she, she must have had to do a uh, polygraph? I don't know. Okay. I do, Heidi. I think she is higher on. I think Jody Sue is top of suspect list because if we're gonna think about kind of everything that goes in into it, uh, the availability is the wrong word, but uh, the how close she is to the wells. Um, she really did not like the wells, and we know this from her own receipts of bitching about Don and Candace living there and stepping on her toes and she didn't want them there. In fact, she texted Andy Bernard the day after Summer was reported missing saying, good, I hope this makes them leave now. So in my opinion, and she says they brought down the property value and blah, 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 blah. Jody Sue had the motive, the <sighs> availability is not the word, but you guys know what I mean. Because as people well, say, it's not going to be some stranger. Saying. Yeah, it's not going to be yeah. some stranger up on that hill. You're kind of in this like hidden little area. So again, she was right there, though. You know what I mean? So yes, yeah, she is number one on my suspect list now. Yes, 100%. And her yeah. own mouth puts her there, by the way. Her own mouth, so. Yeah, um opportunity yes opportunity motive knew the area um oh well, look look how uh, i don't want i don't want to bring up old injuries and stuff but if, that guy that tried to buy that property down there that was i mean he had to end up get, hiring a lawyer and all kind of stuff and he still owns that property but we went through pure hell over that little piece of property over there. Hmm. 
it's almost like up here, like people have the attitude that if you move in this area, you don't, you own land, but you don't really own land. You don't control it. It's like they control, it's like they think that they run things Mm -hmm. that, you know, that's what I've run into is, and it, you know, like that time I went riding my dirt bike with a friend back, back in Ben Hill road, we both took off and we drove way back up in, in there past the last house. And, uh, we, you can go way up on the shoulder of that mountain and actually cross over. And, you know, we run into Fred up there and, uh, he didn't want us on that property and this and that, but, and it, but it wasn't his property. Mm. And, uh, we've had run-ins with him. Um, Plus all the other incidences that Good. he's had with other people. It's Much just, like a gang, kind of gang know, behavior. Everyone yeah. all owns each other's property. They protect each other's property. If you're it's, not born I, and raised there, you're not I think a lot part of, of it. The, I think a lot of the, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm not part of this system up here. I've, like, I've always been friends. And I've got to know, you know, Tucker Drywall really well, and I hung out mostly with all of them. And on my home time, I was here with the kids and whatever. But I didn't know any of these people up here. But it's, it seems to me that, and maybe in the drug trade, that there's things going on behind the scenes. I know there's a lot of thefts, uh, people going out and stealing stuff. I mean just junk scrap metal whatever they can get their hands on to su- survive or do whatever they do but st- but they st- there's a lot of stuff going on around here a lot more than you wouldn't think it would, it's so beautiful that this, these kind of things happen but well, there's a uh, lot of underground activity I guess a you lot of say. evil hidden in beauty right yeah a lot more than I yeah, that's why I think every Bible and all most religions actually will warn of that. I didn't think I had to worry about my kids up here. Right. Right. And you wanted but to I, move back to Utah yeah, before well, that happened. I was trying to. I wanted to. Yeah. So but, you were pretty uncomfortable there with everybody. Well, I just, the love U- I just love Utah because it's so right. beautiful there. And uh, that's it's the only pretty. reason I wanted to move back there. And I have a really good job and stuff. And it's just beautiful there. It's beautiful here, too, in its, in its own way. Um, so April has a question. It, she says, Don, what is the most disturbing thing you have known of what's happened out in the holler don't need to name any names just want to get a picture <clears throat> good question um, well it's already out there fred hey, fred, fred shot that boy out there fred. i got in a shootout right out here on ben hill road and mm-hmm. he ended up shooting that boy in the neck um mm-hmm. they were both shooting at each other so Fred didn't get charged with anything. Um, he got into a little bit of trouble, but not no serious trouble. Right. Um, because because that boy was shooting back at him. Um, just weird stuff like that. I mean, uh, you know, it's they've made a lot of arrests around here lately too. Um, Hmm. It's okay if you don't you don't if you don't think you should say then don't. Hey Chrissy. Um let's get through another minute of Nyquil here. <laughs> uh so that we can hear that she's about to say she was a whistleblower. There's a you know. Do you think that in Summer's case it was the first time I've ever been on the news? Wasn't. But I guarantee y'all can't find me because I requested my face be hidden. I helped eat officials that deserved it for being dirty son of a bitches. Like dirt 
But as well as like anything else. I don't. I'll eat one just as well as the other. And I did manage to keep the other one from being fucking elected again. And it was very much criminal and there were many victims of it. I don't fuck around. And I don't play around. And I also, I want to be funny, you think I wouldn't have had my face uncovered on the news with other investigative journalists that I gave proof to and then they went around other people and witnesses and got everything and kept people from, you know. I am who I am and I am one. Does it mean I'm perfect? Oh, does it mean I'm fucking Superman? Does it mean I'm anything other than me? No. What it means is that I try on the daily to be better. Okay, so she's saying that, you know, the articles are out there, but if you want to go back and watch it, I'm not going to rewind it because there's one more part I want to get to, which is she's now going to say that Summer went missing three days before she was reported missing. <laughs> yeah. Have yeah. you heard? Have you heard? I've never heard that. Her no. say that. But, All right. Let's just uh, fast forward to that right now, which is going to be three hours, twenty-four minutes, and about thirty-five seconds in. So three hours, twenty-four. All right. We're just going to go. Um, Here. So the resurrection, but that only happens after Fred sees them. I mean, you see, my mind works different than theirs. I've not burnt, toasted, pilled, drunk, tweaked, twacked, and fucked them all up. Now, if things happen to my shit about being sick, do I remember a thing perfectly? No, I don't. Do I have moments where I forget things? So if days brain fog, I just fuck completely. But then for all the days that Don and Fred were making sure to meet or go see each other or this and the other in certain ways. In the least mad at each other in those first few days. But I will tell you, even the first morning, Fred was like, oh. <laughs> and he's like, oh, Donna can just killed her. Okay. All right. And then he went on after a few days, and then it also shouldn't was it? She did vanish three days before something. <laughs> she didn't Fred. What the fuck, dude? You know, Fred is what Fred is. So she's saying that Fred says Summer vanished three days before she was actually reported missing. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's crazy. I mean. I don't know what I could possibly say at this at that you know except for I mean what can I say? I don't I don't even <laughs> know what you, I, I mean. Really say to that or so, Listen, you know. that's for the law to figure out, and the law yeah. has not said anything like that. No. Also, if that's what was really being said or what they really thought perhaps she should have reported that 26 months ago yeah right i mean there's the video of her swimming you know that candace you know the day she would swim that's the day that she ended up coming up missing so it's I'm sure i mean mm -hmm. Candace has absolute proof right there, you know. On that. Yeah. Do you mind if uh, anyone joins us up here to ask a couple questions? Is it like PG? No, I would not do that to you, I promise. No, I mean the PG we you spoke about earlier. <laughs> oh. I wish it was. No, no. It's who you spoke to before being on the live. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. 
Give me one minute. I'm just going to send him the link. I was uh, happy to hear that y'all spoke, by the way. Was it a good conversation? Yeah. Okay, good. You know, It's not our business, but good. Sounds good. Good, good. All right, I sent him the link. And welcome, everybody. Sorry. Um, I see the chat, but I when I'm talking sometimes with Don or any guest, I just kind of talk. I had notes today, so I was trying to get through it. And, you know, he's very tired after working all day. So I wanted to make sure that I got through this because, as you know, I work uh, evenings now. So I've been waiting a few days to get to, <laughs> to get to this as well. So and I don't want to just come on and say, well, I think Don would think this, or I, th I think this is, or from me talking to Don, this is how he feels. I'm, I'd much rather that it comes from Don's mouth, not, you know, mine on behalf of Don or something. Well, for sure. Yeah, so I sent that link, so we'll just give him a minute. Um, but yes, hey, Bam, Crime Crazy Critters on the Farm. I don't know if you've been in my chat before. <laughs> By the way, I unblocked my entire block list today, hoping that we can all start fresh. Sorry, I'm screaming in the microphone. Sorry, chasing. <laughs> uh, hoping we can all be adults, start fresh. I'm hoping that with the new awareness on, you know, the sound of freedom coming out, the awareness on trafficking and how quick it can happen and, and how it's on the rise, that perhaps people can take the, let's just blame Don and Candace, even though we can't say beyond all reasonable doubt, that they're guilty and guilty of what we don't know it's time to everyone grow up let's literally leave no stone unturned so um that yeah i unlocked my entire block list sounds good to wow. you yeah uh, sounds right real awesome. good. all right so here's benny hey benny hey how you doing good how are you Pretty well, pretty well. Thank you for having me. Of course, <laughs> thanks for joining. So, how you doing, Mr. Donnie? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. good. Hanging in there. That's good. What's new for you? Oh, not much. Just, uh, just working on trying to, you know, go on and do the best we can, and hoping for and praying and. Just doing everything we can, trying to trust in, in God, you know, that's all we can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know if you had a chance to see that, that message that, uh, that Fred, are, have you guys, are, are you going to talk about Fred a little bit, um, Cher, or no? Yeah, yeah I, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. If you want to uh, uh, add well, anything or ask, go ahead. Well, there's yeah. a, uh, can I share my screen? Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. So, um, I kind of wanted to maybe see if Don had a, a commentary about this. Have you seen this one, Don? No, I can't see it, though. You have to tell me what it says, I guess. So, this is like his, uh, basically like his affidavit of the examination, right? Like just yeah. all of the things that happened um and it says that detective john pruitt of uh, hawkins county sheriff department in rogersville tennessee requested a polygraph examination of fred hill in connection with an ongoing death investigation um what we had kind of heard from his family i guess via jody for whatever that was worth um was that his his situation it happened february 14th uh, but it had been closed up and ruled an accident. Um, so moving forward from that, like it said that uh, the victim's body was found off the Laurel Run Trail. Are you familiar with that area? Yeah, I've heard about all this information. I, and I'm not so sure it should be shared with the public, though. But I guess it's already. Well, no, I mean, th this has been on. This yeah, it's public information. Is it? Yeah, this wow. has been out for a few days now, and yeah. I'm not speaking on anything wow. with Summer. This is about cotton. Yeah, yeah. I've seen um, it. Yeah, I've actually seen it and seen all that stuff. Yeah. Do, yeah. Do you, you don't feel comfortable talking about that? 
Well, no, it's fine. I mean, if it's, oh, okay. if it's no, if it's I, I just wondered. Public knowledge. Did you know Cotton? Is, no, I don't know him. I know Does him. Candace know him or no, Grandis? Yeah, we don't know anybody around here. Honestly, we really don't. Um, Candace you, had met a few friends that we thought were friends, you know, because yeah. she didn't have nobody to visit with up here and whatever. So she befriended people and made some we made mistakes with you know or, you know how pe people are not perfect i mean people do things and uh we've made our mistakes too so i don't know nobody's perfect we'll just say that but right so do you know if would you know what about grandis would grandis know him no hunt know him ali know him no Sue, Hunter and Allie know, i doubt it i mean okay candace said he, she didn't know him i say you know he was affiliated with people are in this area though that you know he's been around here his whole life so he probably knew people like chad and possibly fred hill uh, who knows because apparently mm -hmm. it sounds like he was into the meth thing um so you know, these are people get to know each other like that. And, uh, of course, some of us are trying not to know them type of people. And, uh, Do you want your screen shared still, Benny? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask him a okay. couple of, about a couple of these people. Um, can you see that, Donnie? Yeah. Uh, it's from somebody, us uh, to someone named Julie, rather. This is from Fred since he's been in jail. Uh-huh. Um, about a couple of weeks old, maybe 10 days old or something. He says, yeah, I got it. I really appreciate it. I needed it bad. Can you look up some phone numbers for me? I need Kayla Matthews, Matt Keith, Jamie Cox, your neighbor, Daniel, um, wow. Jeff Everly, Pat Wilcox. You know any of them them folks? I don't. Dang, no. that's quite the no list. no clue who them people are. Wow. So and he said, Laura, nah. Laura and Fred, they contend that on the day of the 15th, they ran into Jeff Everly on Beach Creek. His motorcycle had broken down. Um, and it, as you huh. read right here, uh, Fred got his discovery a couple of weeks ago. And in the discovery, it says that Jeff Everly made a couple of uh, controlled buys from him. Huh. So... Okay. Oh, yeah, I was just curious if you knew anything about any of those names there. I don't. I mean, okay. Hmm. Jeff Everly could be a fake and phony name, too. I don't know. Jeff I Everly? Like, well, I don't know. Well, I mean, his name is in an official discovery, by the way this right. looks. So I, I, yeah, I don't know if, if they, you know, I, I don't know how they do it there. But um, asking around about the guy, you know, there's there's a number of people that know him. So... Um, yeah, I've just so you haven't seen like any of this see? before, Donnie? Sorry to interrupt. No, you haven't seen no. any of this before? No, Dang. and I don't. I don't know these kind, these type of people because the, all these people you're mentioning here are buying and selling methamphetamines and stuff like that. It's obvious in everything they do, and so we really don't want to know them type of people or be around them and we do everything. You know, cause it's bad, and uh, but I didn't realize it was such so bad in this area as is as, as it's turning out to be. Um, mm. um, it's just it just keeps my mind thinking so much about the the motives of these people. I mean, I know they got their own. It's like they go out. And they, I know they steal stuff. They, I mean, they do all that. You know, I don't know. So, can I, I ask you then? Today we're we're twenty six months later. Yeah. Who is number one on your list? Well, with all the information, not just from today, but the past twenty six months, everything you've been through, what's your gut and your heart telling you today? Thank you, Kim. I, I'm not sure. I just feel that, you know, I, I really don't know. I, I'm afraid that, you know, I don't want to say any names or anything on, on live or anything. I like understand that. that. I understand. Yep. 
Absolutely. Um, but I have said in the past, you know, and I don't think it's changed a whole lot, but it, it, it is it what you texted it, me the it, last time we spoke about yeah, your number one? Probably, okay. Okay. But it bothers me that, you know, all the things going on. It's Do you understand what say. this means right here, Donnie? What is it? His very first question, I don't know, can you uh I can't can you see, see that no. right there? There you, you go. Yeah, you have the to very read first it. question they asked Fred was is did you plan with anyone to harm cotton? Um, do you understand what they're asking him right there? Like what they're what they're trying to get to the bottom of? Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it's just a question that, yeah. to see if it uh Yeah, but that word right there, right? So so, well, so that's to try to gel a first degree situation mm -hmm. premeditated situation when you plan something um well, yeah. do you f like you, so you get it like they're asking him did he plan with someone mm -hmm. right um, absolutely they go on to ask they ask him did he harm cotton now what's interesting is is that if you read up here donnie uh yeah he said that they were <clears throat> they were interviewing he was being interviewed on an unrelated issue. And we know that Freddie has some issues, you know, he's probably being questioned about a handful of things, maybe. Um, but while he's talking, he wants to talk about something completely unrelated, which is right. details mm -hmm. of the death scene that had not been publicly released in Cotton's case. Right. So when you move on forward here, Number three, they're asking him, did he see anyone harm cotton? Um, wow. and you understand what that means too, right? Like, like they're that's two questions out of three. They're asking yeah. if he was in 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 accordance with someone else, right? Right. Um, do you do you think that Fred is smart enough to do something and get away with it? That's the best way to ask it, I think. I have no idea. It's, I'm sure he is. I mean, you know, but is he? I, I don't know. It sounds to me like the guy got robbed from or something. Somebody. So there, there is some him. other information that maybe he had a couple of thousand dollars on him, and he might have been somewhere where Fred was and wasn't. And either way, like it sounds like Fred could have potentially been one of the last people to see him. Now, do you find it interesting that what Fred has said that Cotton said about the situation with Summer, which I think that we've probably ruled out as not being a situation, but he's put both situations in Laurel Run. Wow, um, that's true. What's so special about Laurel Run, Don? Can, like, I have no can, idea. is it like really elevated or hills or like, what is it? I, I don't know. I've looked it up on YouTube a little bit, and uh, like our church likes to go up there with the kids and everything. I don't know. It's hard, to, yeah, and uh, and go hiking. Have you been there like before? That. Huh? Have you been up there before? I haven't. I've been I've been to the bottom, but I've never climbed up to the trails because when you're down by the river down there, there's a park there, and it's real nice. Um, real nice park and I got a playground and all that down there below. And then you can go where there's a park, big parking lot, baseball fields, all that stuff. And, uh, so you can park down there and then you can take a trail that goes up to the top of, uh, can't remember the name of the mountain now, but, but you can climb, you know, so far up and everything like that. But I've never went up there. I've always been too tired or whatever, but right. Candace has been up there with the kids um, before. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. I can't imagine. Nice. It sounds like somebody convinced him to go up there. It, it, it's, I don't know. Like, but who, you know, I don't it's know. funny you should say that, Don, because that's sort of the feeling I got. Um, yeah. I know that there was maybe some press, I don't know exactly where it came from, that talked about Cotton potentially having had an accident of some sort. Uh, now, uh, blunt force trauma was his cause of death. 
you can get a blunt force trauma looking um, injury or, or, or type of injury from an accident. Um, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of times um, someone has a medical event, they fall down and the fall being the thing that sort of leads to the, 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 the end. But um, I wanted to ask you, you, have you ever had a polygraph about anything other than Summer's case? Have, have I taken a polygraph? Yeah. Uh, about anything other than Summer's case. Like, I know you no, took one for Summer's. We, we know no. that. But, but like, you ever taken one for anything else? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, How many times? Just once? Twice? You don't have to tell me what well, for. Yeah, I'm just, just uh, curious. Me, well, yeah. Me and Candace, you know, I've already put it out there. that We've done lie detector tests. When all this first happened, let's... No, I mean, I like, remember, for any, yeah. other, any other thing in life, have you ever taken a polygraph before? Oh, no, I've never, ever taken a lie detector before in my life. This is your first time? Well, no. Yeah. Do you remember the gentleman's name that gave you the uh, the uh, test or, or lady? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Is it the she name on this? TBI, a, TBI agent, and that's, what, that's her specialty, and that's all, all that she does is um uh that kind of a okay, test okay and uh so she had to fly in and uh yeah and yeah and okay uh, fair enough fair yes enough. sir and, yeah and i was expecting them to come back with inconclusive or something because i didn't think they would ever you know and you put came the label back to past right? on our test we both me and candace both did yes and I didn't think that they would do do that. That to they me, give you that anything was, like this? That meant when a lot. You did that. Us. Do what now? They give you anything like this when, when you know. took your test? Have I done anything like this? No. no, no did no. you did get you, a Did you get a printout like he's showing? Did you get you a document test? like this? Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, okay. I did Fair have. Enough. I did have a doc document. Yeah. Candace still has hers. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. And really, since we're on the topic, uh, Don, you pass the polygraph right away, or can you well, tell us about that? You and Candace and Grandis. We we struggled. We couldn't right. take the test at first because we kept falling asleep. Because they yeah. they wait like five minutes before they ask a question because they want your heart rate to be real look slow so when they ask that question you know they're gonna know if it's making you nervous or not I mean, right but we hadn't slept for days because we've been out looking for summer and so we haven't slept like in two or three days and so when we they kept out putting us in that chair we kept falling asleep so we couldn't take the test i imagine that's pretty normal when this happens to families, I'm not sure, yeah. but did and... uh, you remember seeing Laura on the 15th, Donnie? No, Laura with an O. Um, Fred's wife. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I'm not sure. I did go down there and ask questions at one point. I did you drive to... or walk? I drove drove down there. And did you did you drive the Subaru? I don't remember. You I okay, don't remember. Because she she her recollection she actually had um, um, fixed something that Ziggy had said. You know, she Ziggy thought that you were driving something different that day to work, and actually Laura had straightened her out and got her back on the right track. And uh, I. I was just wondering if she actually laid eyes on you that day herself or if um, what in the hell <laughs> or if uh, she was just going by word of mouth. Yeah, I wouldn't even yeah. I can I wouldn't remember. I remember it was, uh, it was pretty confusing. Those first yeah. few days were just absolutely horrific. And they still are, but hmm. How long did it, uh, how, so we spoke about this so long. I think, so 
you passed it. How many times, sorry, did it take you? How many times did you have to go in? You yourself right. before twice. you. Twice. We okay. both had to go in twice. Yeah. Both twice. And then can I ask about Grandis as well? Um, I'm not sure about her. I don't know. I don't want okay. to speak on her. But fair enough. Yep. That's fair. But she did take one. Are they inconclusive, Donnie? I, I'm not sure. It might have. It might have been. But okay. it's really not important. I mean, her and Candace were here together with the kids. I mean, you know, the boys, you know, have all been questioned. They were here. You know, and we got to think about what the police dog did going straight down the dog trail to the road. That's mm -hmm. the real ev only evidence that we have is what the boys last seen and what the police dog did when it got here. That's, That's what we have. I want to ask you something also that crimes be nice, of, please. It sort of kind of popped up, Donnie, um, in the past, I don't know, three to five days or whatever. So Candace had said early on that she came to the bottom of the hill around 4.30-ish. She said she looked over and there was Jody. She was down there, right? Um, yeah, I, I remember that. Right? So we got that. Well, then Adrian said on her channel, I think it was three days ago, she said that Candace took her to the exact spot where Jody got out of the creek when uh, that day on the 15th. And, right. I, and I thought that that was interesting because she really kind of put an emphasis on it being the exact spot. Had Candace ever mentioned to you before that there was the exact spot that Jody got out of the, the creek that day? No. Okay. All right. No. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Because it was just like it was something, you know, you get kind of this like this late. You hear things that you really hadn't heard before, and then all of a sudden it's it sort of, you know, you, I focus in on them, <clears throat> focus in on those things, and, and um, I just well, couldn't make sense of it because yeah. what that would mean is that Candace would have seen Jody twice in that afternoon, sometime around 4.30, and whenever Candace would have saw her getting out of the creek, that could have been after 4.30 or before 4.30, but however, um, it, it would have meant she saw her twice. So... It just seemed like they were trying to make Candace really, you know, it was like, it's, it's a lot. It's like Candace saw this lady twice, but, you know, or some kind of way her daughter, you know, slipped out. So I just thought it was very interesting. And, it, and I guess it does kind of matter where it was at in time, because if it was before a particular time and Jody's already out there moving around, you know, that, that just yeah, sure. lends, it, yeah, it lends a little more credence to an issue with, with timing, right? Like you can... You can be late and look that funny, or you can be early and look that funny, or be on time rather than look that funny. So there, there should be some sort of natural delay, um, I, I would think. I don't know. I've heard a couple different stories, so I don't know from her. I mean, I don't know. Thank she, you. She heard a scream, and I don't know. Right, and Ronnie said that that was unfounded. Really? Okay. Yeah. How how did you hear him say that before? He he, he oh, went God, on God. the news and said that was unfounded. What, what, yeah, what was interesting though is he sort of back he sort of backed himself into a corner because he went on to he, he did say unfounded and that's not based in in fact right it's not the basis of, isn't fact but then he went on to say that that the scream didn't appear to be connected to this event. So it's like he said there was a screen that wasn't founded, but then went on to say, yeah, there, there, there may have been a screen, but it didn't appear to be connected to this. So I thought that was interesting. And actually, I've made note of that today. You could, you could play it. It's, it's what he said. He said both things. So one thing led you to believe that, you know, maybe, you know, there was just random holler noise or whatever and then one led you to believe that you know there wasn't a screen but sort of both things were were, were noted at the same time so um i i 
walk away after kind of breaking it down, you know, like you would maybe a Bible verse or, or you know, history, something, break it down. And you're like, he's really saying both things, right? He's saying it doesn't appear if it's unfounded, then it doesn't have to. There's no connection because it didn't happen. Right. But to say unfounded and then say it didn't appear to be connected to this event um, is to say there could have been a scream just wasn't for what she was saying it was for. Hard to say. Hmm. <laughs> last year, Candace. What last year, Candace? To you, she didn't know what time she saw Joey Sue, and she just agreed with the time. I will say this though: hmm. whoever took her got her out of the area very fast. Yeah, they had to have. <laughs> they got so her out of the area very fast. I say there was in a vehicle moving at a pretty high rate of speed or they probably had 25 minutes to get out of here and it don't take that long to you know there's several different ways you can go if you got 20 minutes you can be out of the area in 20 minutes easily because hmm. lord knows they searched this all over in this area she's as far as i know she's not in this area and i didn't think she would I mean, you know, if you were running from something, Don, and you were just trying to kind of change jurisdictions, so to speak, like what, if, you were trying to get to, if you were trying to get to the nearest state oh, that yeah. isn't Tennessee, what, would or it be anywhere. Virginia, Georgia? Which one? Yeah. If I was to try to get out, oh, out of, out of this area, I mean, you got, there's probably three different ways to get out of this area for one would be down Lone Star one would be now I did find out that they did put up a roadblock going towards Church Hill because I talked to somebody that went through that roadblock but I don't I don't know the exact time or anything that they set that roadblock up but there's other ways out of here also many other ways and I'd say they if you drove at a fast pace you can be out of here in 10 minutes easily before they set up a roadblock. So I say they said oh, faster than you. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I don't drive that fast. But oh, come on. Fast <laughs> oh, yeah. but, uh, so what, like, like within what half hour you could be in another state. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, you got North Carolina over there. And, uh, you got West Virginia right up above us, about 20 minutes from here. 20 minutes. Unless you take all back roads. There's you can, there's back roads forever. It's, you know, you can take all back roads all over the place, and it's crazy. Are those, are, are those back roads, are they marked on the GPS? Probably, but there's a lot of back roads that inter intertwine and go everywhere. Okay. You know, too, and we also discussed, you know, that if you lived in a rural, rural, rural area, God, I can't say that word. <laughs> it's um, a tongue twister, all right. <laughs> that you're, you're more likely, you know, uh, more of a target for abductions of children because there's not that many cameras or anything out here oh, in town you got cameras all that. over the place right i never thought about that before that that actually makes sense to me absolutely hey, donnie when you look yeah. at the uh when you look at the age progression that yeah. the uh yeah the Nick Mac did. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like you're uh -huh. looking like does it does it feel like a familiar face? It, it's 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 it would be it's hard to tell, you know, because our our kids change so much in time and you don't really notice it until you go back and look at a picture. And you're like, man, you know, you realize how much they've changed, you know. Um they do a lot of changing. <clears throat> I'd say summer's gonna you know, look quite a bit I don't know. It's hard to say, but I think they've probably done the best they could do, you know. Do you feel like, do you feel, I mean, but do you you feel, do you have any kind of feeling from the picture? 
Um, just now, I just when I look at the her original picture, then I, you know, that's I think that's my baby, you know. But looking at the picture that they draw, they drew. I mean, it, I not really. I mean, hmm. it's hard to say. Can I ask to follow that up? Does it? When I saw that picture, it actually pissed me off. Yeah. Did you have? I mean, was there any emotion? He like he's Benny's asking well, at all. Were you pissed? Were really. you like, uh, uh-uh, uh, that doesn't look like her? Or you just, just no emotion at all? Well, we don't know. You know, it was how big she's getting, or even if she's still alive, or any of those things. Mm. I mean, I, I'd say they've done the best they could do. This, this is a TBI sketch artist, whatnot. Um, so, I mean, that's all right. we can do. So, who to? I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, London Mental Health Crime uh, did a super sticker question. It says, "Please ask Don why he said in three different interviews that he believes." that they called at 5.30, why was Candace on Messenger still working while she was searching? Oh, okay. Uh, so going back to the beginning, you said it was weird that you and Candace were able to be on Messenger the whole time, but uh, remember there was that discrepancy because you thought you got the call at 5.30, but Summer was reported missing at 6.29 p.m. on June 15th. 2021 yeah I, i'm not sure the exact time like kind of you know right. i assumed it could and have been 5 30 but it could have been 6 30 i'm really yeah and know. when going through something like that you guys misplacing an hour or two is very normal i mean that's just the feds will tell you that much and have so i mean yeah we tried to look in our phones to see the exact call and you know i better not say but our, our phones didn't have any of that information in it which is really odd too so we don't understand that hmm so when so when you got your phones back from the law I, yeah i remember you told me that before your phone was cleared i think you had said from three thirty on that day yeah or was it all days or everything or? It was just a certain part of our phones that was deleted for whatever police reasoning that they have. I mean, I don't know why they do some of the things they do, but. Do but they that's... not explain to you at all? I mean, I guess maybe no, they can't, they but when they did that, did you say like, <laughs> why is such, like, why well, we am I missing half no, my day? We didn't notice it until we went to look because I wanted to see exactly when the 911 call was mm -hmm. and all that. And it wasn't in my phone, in the call log. And and then they got, Candace looked in hers and then, and then her mother looked in hers. It was, they were all deleted. I, I don't know why, but that's police matter. Mm -hmm. I don't know, what, you know, it's, who knows. Mm. When you see the age there, if you can see on the screen, Benny has up. Um, does it give you hope at all that Law thinks she's still alive and out there somewhere? Well, uh, I will. Oh, you're cutting out. Are you walking around? You know, I hope I can do. I mean, only God knows. No, I don't know if my battery's dying or not. It could be. Yeah. Well, I think I think that's good for tonight. Well done. Do you want to? Is there anything else that you want to touch on this evening? Well, no. I think I'm gonna call it a night, and uh, just uh, I don't know. But I appreciate everybody for for trying to help find her. Um, 
I don't appreciate the tragedy, pimps, of course. <laughs> um, but that's who they are, I guess. But uh, I don't know. But just God bless everybody, and I hopefully. If you can just do your best, do don't give them the reactions. Summer. Don't give them the yeah. reactions that they're looking for. Right. I think you've been doing good. How is Candace on mess? How is Candace's messenger working? Um, no, fine. She's fine. She's doing good. She's... Good. I think they mean that night. How was she still on messenger? But he said, if you go back, he he said that they don't even know how that how they just know it was but they don't like he thought it was weird that it was working the whole ride right or sorry don you oh that there yeah um i was talking to candace on messenger when i was driving by um and you know i could see her driving the truck frantically looking for summer freaking out uh, yeah my internet um uh, i think it almost worked the whole way it was really weird because mm. normally that's before they put that cell tower in out here and uh yeah it's, that's that was odd mm. so if know. summer is um with somebody and these people are possibly following everything you and candace or grandis or anyone's doing maybe they want to know or hear everything so they can try and stay you know 10 feet ahead of everybody if summer and they probably are watching if, if, if they are so. watching and listening and maybe summer is in hearing range is there anything you would say well of course i'd tell her i love her with all my heart you know I hope and pray that god brings her home someday soon you know um but that's it you know i love her and we, we all love her and I'm just praying for her every day amen. Amen. amen all right don uh i appreciate the time i appreciate you guys i you really do answered a bunch of hard questions tonight and I, I know that you're tired of doing it probably but i appreciate you continuing to do so well, we'll keep trying that's for sure it's about you know trying to do the right thing so i appreciate you guys anyways i'm really tired because... and i'm not even talking yep, right so i apologize for that. <laughs> no you're so doing I... fine yep you go ahead and go enjoy the rest of the evening and uh, i'll you guys text see. you tomorrow Thanks so much. God bless. Thank you. Watch Bye -bye. the chat. I'll have them flood it with purple hearts for summer. All right. Thank you. All right. God bless. All right. Benny, thank you. Thank awesome you for questions. And yeah, thank you. I'm going to get off here, but I, I love that board. You've got a video um, chat. Can you get uh, Benny's recent video where he's sharing this? It's a 10 minute video. I've yet to watch it, but can mods please grab that and throw that uh in there i'll make sure i get that in the description of this too absolutely thank you for having me madam thank you love you love you too bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. All right, y'all. I seen there was a little bit of issues in the chat, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna deal. I mean, we can't all get along all of the time. I just hope you know. Let's just try. You know, if you don't like someone, don't talk to them. There's numerous other people even if there's 10 people in the chat you don't like one people there's nine other people in the chat to talk to ignore it okay we're supposed to be adults here like i said i am blocked my list i'm really trying to start fresh here um and i understandably everyone has different opinions i mean we know we go back and forth in our own heads don tells me all the time he understands that he knows that um and it's okay, but you don't have to be nasty about it. Something I've had to learn myself along the way. And it's okay to say, you know what? I'm not proud of my behavior before, but that's part of being a human and growing and going on with the next day and then the next day. Okay, I didn't like my behavior. I can do something. You have to wake up every day, though. It, it's not just you have to tell yourself every day, I am going to be a better person or I'm going to try to have better behavior today. 
not just, oh, I'm going to wake up today and say this and then it just happens. You have to look yourself in the mirror every day you wake up and tell yourself and remind yourself, quite honestly. I don't, or I do, I mean, but, but flood the chat if you would with purple hearts for summer, for positive energy um you know the little bits that we can do to put out some positive energy out there we can do that thanks everyone for being here um thank you mods and thank you um for the super chats and everybody for the good questions if i didn't get to your questions i'm sorry but um i also don't like to bombard him a lot but it, it kind of happened tonight um but um I like when he can just also get up and, and relax and be a normal human after a hard day of work and maybe just shoot the shit with people. But he wanted to, he knew we were going to discuss some things and he wanted to address some things and I think he did well. So, and again, thank you to Benny for awesome questions. Make sure you check out that video. I will put the video link um, that has the billboard. Share that billboard picture out. Share that video out that Benny just put together. Um, and have a good night. Enjoy your Sunday tomorrow. Mister will be live tomorrow for coffee. Maybe Don will uh, join him for some coffee and just chat. Like, can we just, like, we can talk about summer, but we don't have to drill with questions all of the time, you know, because that's probably not even healthy, to be honest, for him or her. So, anyways, have a good night. Good to see some faces that I never thought I'd see in the chat. <laughs> Uh, critters on the farm, Miss Daisy, everybody, um, Flipper, please don't make me time you out again, but I'm glad, I'm glad everyone was getting along after that. Cotton candy boobs, you know I love you, sis. Missed you. Uh, missed everyone. Bama, Lil Dev, Nanas for Life, Innocent, thank you. All the mods, thank you. Whether you get along with each other or not, thank you. Uh, Kim's, Crystal, Linda, Heidi, Truth Seeker, Lip Lock. Hope you're having a good date night with hubby. Daisy Girl, Bama, did I say Bama? Every, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Good night, y'all. Bye.